Dang Bob's a day, and today we're doing the Ultimate Grill Challenge. So let's get started. So last night we were watching Homespun Geek, and he did the Ultimate Grill Challenge, and it made us think of what about we do it? Yeah, so now we're going to do it today. Yeah. So on on Ty Locke's video last night, he showed a he on a couple of them he showed a more than one pop off, and I think that we're gonna we're gonna do that too because we got a couple that we want to throw in there, not just one of each one. So that's fine, <laughs> right? So uh, what's the first one? What is the first one? The highest. Oh, the highest. Uh money value right now yeah your pop your pop in your collection is worth the most does it mean like on ebay no it's like on either funko or pvg okay, whatever okay. what's the second one <laughs> yeah it's pretty cool. what's the second one i like this challenge the second one ebay no the second one is your favorite sign pop. Oh, I think it like plays for No. In the challenge, what is it? It's your favorite sign pop. Yeah. Okay. The third one is it's your favorite pop that sit with sentimental value that means the most to you. It might not be worth anything, but it could mean a whole lot to you because somebody gave it to you or you got it at a certain place or you just really like that character. I love this character. And then the fourth one is if you could have any pop in your collection to get this year, what would it be? It's gonna be hard to choose. Huh? Yeah. Because there's a lot of pops that we want. Yeah. That aren't out yet, maybe? Wait. They could be not out yet, or it could be um, one that you would like them to make that yeah. they haven't even made yet. Yeah, because they all mean the same thing. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so our highest, pe our, our highest price pop is what is it? Pretty Funko Pennywise. Pennywise. And where'd we get that one at? In the three Freddy Funko box. So, the box of fun. Yeah. It came in the Stranger Things box. Yeah, that year was the Stranger Things theme. Yeah. So it had a... This year was... It was like a locker. It was like a locker. Yeah, this year the thing was like a mm -hmm. cylinder kind of thing. Yeah. Last year was like square. I haven't checked what this right. one's worth here lately. <laughs> it's anywhere between like 150 <laughs> You all right? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, so this one's cool. Yeah, it's worth, I haven't checked lately, but it you, it was between 150 yeah. and $200, somewhere between there. It moves up and down all the time. So yeah. let's do your favorite sign pop now. Okay. So mine is Tommy. It's from, so the person who signed is Jason David Frank. That's his real name. So mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. This is the metallic one, but we didn't put it. The yeah, we didn't box. have the metallic box to get yeah, signed whenever we got it. When we got home after the con, it was it in was the mail the, still. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So we that's didn't the metallic out. pop, and also we put all of our sign pops in these two pop protect the double box pop protectors. You can put two boxes in here, and we take the pop out just so that you can still see the new pop. I think I got these on eBay, but they fit. You know, two yeah. pop boxes, two regular size pop boxes, exactly. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but... And it looks cool because you can still see the figure and still see the signature. Because a lot of times whenever you get them signed, you can't see the figure anymore. And we still like to see them. The only one that isn't like that is our Woody Woodpecker sign. What did you think about that whenever you got to meet him? It was pretty cool. It huh? was really cool. Was it? It didn't take too long to get to the bottom line. No. Yeah, we both got... Well... He's got a Marvel character. I got mm -hmm. a Power Ranger one. So this one's signed by Michael Rooker that played who? Yondu. Yondu. I'm Mary Poppins, And this, this is also, you can see he signed a little bit on the side right there in that one. But this is also one of my favorite pops, though, just because whenever this pop come out, it was... Yeah. I think it was like the last one to come out from that convention and people were like staying up for like days waiting for it to come mm -hmm. out online and Target and it was at Target so it was only online so it kept it never came out then never came out and I remember I remember whenever it came out I was driving through the parking lot at Myers and I got an alert on my phone that it was up and I hurried up and pulled over into like three different parking spots hurried up and bought it on my phone I was like <laughs> oh I'm so excited I got it 
Because this one, this one was crazy. They kept delaying it for some reason and yeah. delaying it. And... I like his outfit. Yeah, this is a really cool pop. I like how there's the, like the spots where they had to put the thing in his head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's this like one's really cool. Yeah, this is yeah, and how he's floating on off the on I the stand. It, yeah, name. and then he's he wrote something on the side, but I don't know what it says. I think wait, I think I need some of the names on this, and then the rest is right there. I don't know, but that's a cool pop too, huh? It was our favorite pops. We both got one for this. And I don't know what yours is. Yeah. You've got it in a in a what? A, well, you got it in a sorter over there. Yeah. What it says, pop pop. And you didn't even get it? this one from down here. Yeah. This one was one of the ones at your room, so yeah. I don't have a clue of what it was. Usually, I could look around and see which one's missing, but I kind of traded out with another pop. All right. Well, let's see what it is. Let me show you that. Oh, super, super grover. grover. Boy, you got fingerprints all over this box, don't you? I know. It's, in, it's just one of those. So where did you get this one at? He was on my very bottom, so. No, I, I mean, where like, did you where did you actually get the pop at? I don't remember. I think it was like some comic book store. Yeah, he was on my bottom of on my pop, so I had to get a uh, Five Nights at Freddy's one to replace it. Oh, so yeah. it wouldn't fall. <laughs> I like the back of it. Okay, so I got two favorite ones. Yeah, so this one I didn't talk about, but on the back it was talking about which ones that they're going to make in the future. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, okay, so I got two favorite ones. One of them is actually the very first pop that I ever bought for myself oh. and not you all. You know what it is? What is it? It's Bo Jackson. Yeah, so this one is the very first pop that I ever bought for myself. And... Why did I? I mean, I have. Uh, and why? Why did I buy that one? Because my name is Bo Jackson. What's your first name? Bo. What's your middle name? Jackson. And who was you named after? Him. Yeah. Yeah. So he's cool because we put a, actually we actually put a baseball bat in his head. Yeah, because they don't make a baseball one of him. Yeah. I wish they would, but so that one, that one just kind of means a lot to me because. <laughs> That's who I named him after, his first and his middle name. And yeah. so that's why I like that one. And like I said, it's also the very first one that I ever bought for myself. Now my second one, do you got a clue what it is? I didn't know you were going to choose this one, so. You know which one it is. <coughs> oh. It's this one right here. I think maybe we change it. He's had this one. Ever since he bought this, he's been loving this one. He's been saying it was his favorite one. It is. Now it's. It's between these two. He so, loves both of them. This is the Ezra and Buggy from the Haunted Mansion. And, uh, he lights up because we made it. Well, the reason that I like this one is because whenever I was little, we, whenever we went there, we went it was there. always my favorite ride. Me and my dad yeah. would always ride it. And, Let's talk about um, it. and I mean, the pop's cool, but I like it because it's actually got the, the, the seat from the ride in it. Yeah, and, Grandpa was talking to me about how you love going to Disneyland. Yeah. And, and, and my dad actually bought this pop for me, and that's what makes it cool too. Is that he bought it for me because he knew he knew that was my favorite ride and how much it meant to me. And this is just, like I remember whenever the the pictures first come out of this, I was like, I can't even believe that they're making that. But now they make all kinds of like rides and stuff now from Disney. But and now they also made a ten inch Ezra and yeah. Like all the well, whenever they made that one, uh, all, you couldn't get none of the uh, all the older. Um, haunted mansion pops were like really expensive yeah. then they and then they finally came out with a new set so that's cool all right the last one Your most Any, wanted pop. yeah most wanted pop i'll let you go first do you know what yours is i don't know the camera's over here <laughs> i don't know i don't really have it but i feel like it might be baby yoda because we're gonna we kind of pre record him yeah we kinda, that's a good we one are, yeah, because that one... There's I not an older one that you've out. been wanting forever? No, they're not really one that I've thought about that I wanted. There is a lot, though, Pops, that I said I like. Oh, the Iron Man is Jeffrey. I yeah, forgot about him. Cool. I really love that one. Mm -hmm. Or the Batman Jeffrey. You know those. those? Mm -hmm. Those are both cool. Yeah, I thought about making the regular Jeffrey mine just because... Or one of my favorite ones, just because, you know, there's no more Toys R Us. And I just remember whenever I was a kid, my dad would always take me to Toys R Us. And it was just like, it was really cool going there all the time. And now you can't do it anymore. But, all right, you want me to tell you what my favorite 
my, I, I, I got two of them and both of them are pretty expensive. That's why. First one would be 1970s Elvis. The, reg one? the regular one or the chase. We saw the regular. And remember, I talked the guy down to quite a bit. And I, and I almost did it, and I was like, oh, that's way too much money to spend on a pop. It was that a lot. That the most you would ever spend on yeah. a pop, probably. And then the other one is the regular Tony Tiger. Oh, yeah. The regular or the flocked one. Both of those are Yeah, cool. that's his, probably the most one. He's a, he loves Tony Tiger. Yeah. He loves Flosh. Well, whenever I was little, whenever I was little, that was like one of the only cereals that we would eat at uh, my grandma's house. Like, that's all they ever had. So they all ate. Saying? Because I just said Flosh Flakes. Probably because like, you don't have any teeth. You can't talk hardly right now. You're missing half your teeth. Okay. Yeah, so he loves Frosted Flakes. Aren't they your favorite? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We got and I think he's one of the best ad icons, too. Yeah, I just love how he looks and stuff. Like, the bullseye, he's kind of playing with his white and then mm -hmm. his eye like that. But he's just, he just stands out to all of them. Mm -hmm. He loves it. So, thanks to Ty Locke at Homespun Geek. A couple of people tagged him and uh, had him do the challenge, but I don't know how to tag people on there. So, if anybody sees this video and wants to do it, go ahead. I don't know how. <laughs> but uh, yeah. check out his video, too. Yeah, Check so, out his channel and subscribe to his channel because it's really good. He's always got good stuff going on. You can on, tell don't we? we like Tony Tiger because we got some Tony Tiger stuff uh -huh. back here. We got the 10 inch, we got a vinyl figure, and then we got a Tony Tiger sunglasses. That one was kind of hard. But to it's get. just not, we got that Tony Tiger with sunglasses, but it's just not the regular one. It's just not it. The only, th we don't care. We need it. Yeah. We need it. All right. Anything else you want to say on this video? Make sure like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe if you want to stay at home video. We're staying home today. Yeah. Or if you want a pop hunt. Maybe on the weekend. To. Yeah. You always want to go on a pop hunt. We can't pop hunt every day, dude. <laughs> so make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. And if you want to see more, you gotta subscribe. And Tony Tiger will come and get you if you don't subscribe. Okay. So make sure to subscribe. It's been another episode of Stacking Pops by Stacking Popsters.